A Wolf at the Table is a memoir by Augustin Burroughs that explores his troubled relationship with his father, John Robison. The book is a deeply personal and emotional account of Burroughs' childhood and the impact his father had on his life. Throughout the book, Burroughs paints a vivid picture of his childhood home and the people who populated it. He describes his father as a distant and unapproachable figure who rarely showed affection to his children. John Robison is portrayed as a man who is both physically and emotionally abusive, prone to violent outbursts and explosive temper tantrums. Burroughs' mother is also a prominent figure in the book, and her relationship with her husband is explored in detail. Burroughs describes her as a passive and submissive figure who is unable to protect her children from her husband's abuse. The book also delves into the strained relationship between Burroughs and his older brother, who is portrayed as a cruel and manipulative figure who often sided with their father. One of the main themes of the book is the impact that abuse can have on a child's emotional development. Burroughs describes how his father's abuse left him feeling isolated and alone, with a deep sense of shame and guilt. He also explores how the abuse affected his relationship with his mother and his brother, and how it shaped his approach to relationships in adulthood. Another important theme of the book is the power of storytelling. Burroughs is a skilled storyteller, and he uses his writing to make sense of his childhood experiences and the impact they had on his life. He also explores the role that storytelling played in his family, with his father using his own stories to manipulate and control those around him. The book is also a meditation on memory and the reliability of personal recollection. Burroughs acknowledges that his memories may not be entirely accurate, but he argues that they are still important for understanding his own emotional reality. He explores the ways in which memory can be distorted by trauma, and how it can be used to shape our understanding of the past. Burroughs' writing style is vivid and engaging, with a strong emphasis on storytelling and character development. He is able to create complex and nuanced portraits of the people in his life, even those who have hurt him the most. His descriptions of his childhood home and his family's dynamics are evocative and detailed, bringing the reader deep into his world. Overall, A Wolf at the Table is a powerful and emotional memoir that explores the impact of abuse on a child's emotional development. Burroughs' writing is raw and honest, and he is able to convey the complexity of his experiences in a way that is both illuminating and compelling. The book is a testament to the power of storytelling to heal and to make sense of even the most painful experiences.